Hello and welcome to today's video. Now, this is a slightly different video today on this channel. I've been wanting to make this video for a while now and I am finally doing it. I have in my hand a mystery box that has been sent to me. Now, a bit of a backstory. Those of you that have been following my channel for a very long time will know that for the longest time, my daughter and I have been struggling to manage her severe chronic eczema. And now at age 16, she is so much better. It's controlled with medication and she's living a relatively normal life and all is well. But this was not always the case. For the vast majority of her life, she's been plagued by constant itching, dryness of her skin, and it's been very, very stressful indeed. Having eczema to that kind of a level is some kind of ongoing living hell slash torture slash nightmare. It's a bit like living in a horror movie, except horror movies come to the end and then you, you know, switch the TV off and go on with your life. Dealing with very, very severe eczema just doesn't go away. <laughs> it's there all day, all night. It's right round the clock. I don't know if you could maybe think back to a time when you've been bitten by a mosquito and you've been devilishly itchy and you've just wanted to tear it to shreds with your fingernails to just get some kind of relief from that itching. Imagine you've got it all over your whole body all the time. That's what it's like for the really severe eczema sufferers. Anyway, there is a reason I'm telling you this. <laughs> And it's related to the mystery box over there. Waiting patiently over there on the little table for us to get into it. The eczema torture, as I said, is round the clock. And one really massive debilitating thing for families with an eczema sufferer in is the lack of sleep because they are scratching all day and all night because they even do it in their sleep. Like I would literally be lying in my bed hearing the floorboards creaking from where Isabel is scratching so violently all the way through the night. Fast asleep, I'd go in, she'd be fast asleep, but her arms and legs are still tearing away at herself. And as you can imagine, they do quite a lot of damage to themselves through doing this. And nobody in the family gets any sleep. You're lying there, you can hear them damaging themselves and you just want to save them from it. And it's horrendous. Anyway, my mummy dearest did some research online and she found a company called Cotton Comforts and they still exist today. And they specialise in special eczema nightwear and other clothes as well, but especially the nightwear. This was what was the key thing for us. And she researched it and she found they were quite pricey, showed them to me. I just looked at the price and said, well, I can't afford that. That's too much money. We'll just manage as we are. Um, so my darling mother <laughs> decided to spend some money herself and gifted us a load of this nightwear. And I can tell you that it absolutely revolutionized our existence. Okay, it didn't cure the eczema, but it provided a layer of protection between those rasping fingernails and the delicate skin underneath. And it comforted my daughter. She was still scratching all night, of course. I mean, they don't just scratch with their fingernails. Oh no, they get their legs on the go as well. She was very artful at digging those big toes and the nails attached into the backs of her knees constantly throughout the night. <laughs> it's like a human grasshopper or something. Anyway, I digress. These pajamas with the built-in hands and feet that were specifically designed to help with this condition made such a massive difference to us that I wanted to make this video just so that people can be aware that these products do exist. Within minutes of them going on, I was immediately awakened <laughs> to the fact that they were worth every single penny. One of the very big things that we got from these garments immediately was sleep. All of a sudden it wasn't so terrifying to try and settle down to go to bed at night because I knew that although she was still working away at herself, she had this layer of protection and she wasn't probably going to break her skin and introduce bacteria into open wounds and become infected because this had been a cycle. She spent so many times in hospital on intravenous antibiotics trying to overcome these skin infections. We've had quite a history of that. I believe that a lot of people out there in the world are suffering as we did and have no idea that this company exists, which is why I wanted to make the video because if it helps one family, then it was totally worth making the video. Now then, <laughs> I contacted them. I contacted them, they didn't contact me. I explained our situation, I explained I had a YouTube channel and I said, would they like to send me some of their products for me to just show in the video and then I'll send them back. 
I'm not going to keep them. I haven't asked them for any money. I am not being paid. I just really wanted to help to raise awareness that these things exist. So, without any further ado, let's get into the box. Oops. Well, that wasn't the nice sleek opening I was hoping for. Oh, it rips. Oh, that's a nice little uh, <laughs> folding thingy. Never seen one like that before. <gasps> oh, look, oh, I'm not used to seeing such small ones because obviously Izzy was wearing these until she was about 15, so. <laughs> oh, so small. <gasps> oh. Anyway, one thing at a time. Right, calm down, Imo. I'm just about to get cuteness overload. These are the natural pyjamas. So we got some pyjama bottoms. And as you see, the feet are built into them. You might be thinking, why are the seams on the outside? Well, when you've got very, very sensitive and itchy and dry skin, seams on the inside can be like a form of torture, scratching against you. So the seams are on the outside. I mean, you can feel them a bit on the inside, but they protrude the most on the outer side. Likewise, the labels on the outside. I mean, you could remove that anyway if you wanted to. This is size 100. I'm not sure what age that's for, but I'll put it on the screen. They've got a size guide on their website. I'm just gonna stand right back so you can see how big these ones are. Let's have a little look at the top as well. Oh, there it is, look. Again, you can see the raised seams on the outside as is the label. It's got quite a high neck with very sort of loose elastic in there that's not going to dig in too much and again covered in hands. And the material in the hands is extra thick, there are more layers in there as with the feet as well, same thing. Right, let's see what's next. It's a lovely soft bag they've come in, I was expecting a plasticky texture. Right, getting it out of the bag. So here's the front. They look a bit like baby grows, don't they, with the closed in hands and feet. Now this is an all in one, so it's gonna be even harder for them to get in with their little scratching hands. We've got buttons at the back. And here we've got, there's a label there. <laughs> uh, and we've got a little thingy here for undoing. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's little birds printed on this one. And again, the closed in feet and hands with extra thickness. Right, moving on, what's next? Oh, these are little dungarees. Oh, these are quite big, look. They do up with buttons at the top there. So this is kind of even better in a way because what I found with Izzy was she could get her hands down, <laughs> trousers, you know, to scratch around, but she did still have the mittens on, so it was fine, you know, it was okay. But this is an extra layer of protection again, really, because they can't get in, you know, if they're extra, extra scratchy. Again, extra thickness of material on the feet. What's next? Well, there's more than I thought in here. Ah, oh, it's another pyjama top with mittens built in. So here's this. Again, built-in hands with the extra thickness material. They're lovely and soft, by the way. I think I've missed a trick here. I think this goes with this. I think it's a matching set. Look, those colours go quite well together. Here you go, I've arranged it, kind of, after a fashion. Yeah, that's definitely a set, isn't it? One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that these things lasted and lasted and lasted. Now, we had a lot of sets because obviously an eczema sufferer is gonna be shedding a lot of skin, so they needed to be washed after every single use. You know, there was no going five days in these one day and then they'd have to be washed. So I'd always turn them inside out, obviously, because of the skin flake buildup. And also, they were caked in emollient because my daughter had to be covered in emollient every night going to bed. So yeah, we had to have a few pairs, but they lasted in spite of that punishment that they took, the amount of washing, the amount of continuous rubbing in them and all that greasy emollient, they still lasted and lasted and lasted. And I swear to you, they outlasted any pajamas from Primark or off the peg in Tesco's or anything like that. 
So they, they were not uneconomical to buy in the long run because they just outlasted all the cheaper garments anyway. All right, what else is in the box? Ooh, ah, now I bet this is a set. So I'm gonna get them out together this time. Yes, there we are. Similar thing again, we've got one of those mitten tops. Is that a mitten top? We'll get it out and have a look. And more dungarees, so let's get those out quickly. Yeah, here we go, look, I've assembled them as the set. It's the dungarees again with the mittens and the feet built in. One more thing in the box. Gloves. <laughs> now these come in packed up two. Here we are, little itty bitty stitched cotton gloves, look. My daughter lived in these, basically, until about last year. <laughs> So they did her well, stood her in good stead. She just couldn't, couldn't live without them. So if you know anybody that's struggling in the situation similar to what we were struggling in, do feel free to just let them know about this company. You could share this video with them. Um, they have suggested that we might like to run a little giveaway. Uh, so I thought I might do that on our Facebook and Instagram because it might just be easier to do it on there. I've never done one before. It's not the sort of thing I normally do. Um, but if you just follow our Instagram and Facebook, I shall put it over on there. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I normally make daily vlogs, so this is a very unusual sort of video for me to make, but I just felt it was important to just help raise awareness, really, because I think there must be quite a few people suffering out there in the world in the situation that we were in, just absolutely desperate for a hand of help to come magically out of the sky to just soothe them, comfort them, support them in some way. And that definitely is what it did for us, which is why I felt so motivated to pester them to send me some stuff to show you. And I am gonna send it back. They're literally gonna send me a prepaid postage label to return them. I said, look, we don't need the items anymore. My daughter's through her really darkest hours now. So it really, I'm just making this video for other people who are out there. I will link the Cotton Comfort website in the description for you in case you want more information or want to share it with somebody who you think might benefit from this service. If you're new here and would like to follow more of my daily life, because this is a daily vlogging channel, not an eczema specific channel, if you do fancy doing that, do feel free to hit the red subscribe button and the bell next to it for notifications. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. It really helps to rank it and boost it and search and all that in YouTube. And I really appreciate it because it helps the channel to grow. And I think that's about it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with a normal vlog. Okay, bye.